Hey there, this is a, uh, a vi video on just how to use EasyPHP, which is a uh, web server that you can run off a portable device like a USB or a, uh, I guess, a, a portable hard drive. So uh, what I've got here, I'm on the EasyPHP website. I, um, I chose to download the development server, which is this great big red button here, uh, not the hosting server, not the red one. And then when I ran the install, so you know, you just run it by double clicking, on it. Um, I chose to install it to a USB which I had plugged in and it will set up this folder here called Easy PHP Dev Server and inside there uh, whenever you choose to run this on your computer you plug the USB in and you run this executable file here uh, not the uninstall but this one at the top and when I run that um, it'll take a second everything's a little bit slower because it is off a, um, a USB but uh, eventually all going well this will start things up and down the bottom here you can see uh, the little E has turned up. If I right click on that it will hopefully give me a menu in a second. There we go. And you can see it's started up. I can um, access things through that if I wish. Gosh it's very laggy though. Um, but what I'm going to do instead is through my browser here if I want to access any of the files I just go to localhost and what it does is it gives me all the projects that I have running at the moment and in terms of where they're located on my pen drive there's a data folder there if you go into data and choose local web and that is where you would put a folder for each new project so I've got a folder here for my year 12 classes for example um, so if I want to have a new folder or a new project I would create a folder here a new folder um, and once you put that in there so here we go I'll call this one new project okay so that's it there and if I refresh my local host here, not certain my dogs are going crazy in the background, but um, you can see new project has appeared. And so if you want to run any files, all you have to do is go into, say, for example, year 12, choose the file you want to run, and there it is. Now uh, that's how you view pages. You literally can just navigate through, um, through the different folders. So if I went to new project, obviously there's nothing in there, but as soon as I put a file into my new project folder, I can now access it. So again, if I just grab one from my year 12 folder here, if I just grab into number, copy that, and put it into this folder, um, now when I view this folder, you can see there it is. Now the other thing you're gonna to want to be able to do is access a database, and the way to go about doing that is to go to localhost slash home, and what that will do is it will run up your little home page here and you can see under modules, hopefully this is pre-installed for you because it was for me, um, is the PHP my admin. So just click on open and that will, all going well, there we go, open up PHP my admin and now you're ready to go ahead and add databases, tables, run all the queries you want. So everything is in there. So uh, pretty much this will run on a USB which means that you can do all your work here save your files and then just take the pen drive out with you and take it where you need. So anyway, I hope this helps.